Hello, good afternoon. Well, I just filmed a morning routine earlier today, which will probably already be up on my channel before you see this video. So I wanted to start vlogging again into the weekend. It's Saturday and Saturday afternoon now, but I wanted to vlog a weekend in my life. I'm drinking a tall glass of lime water. I just finished getting ready. I'm gonna make, I think, a afternoon pick-me-up of a nice coffee. It's cold outside, but I'm gonna still make a nice coffee, it's fine. But I have my dishwasher and dryer going, if you can hear all those noises. So I went to the store, and actually it was such a lie. I was looking for the coupons and the paper, and this was the Chobani coffee creamers were like save a dollar on them, so I was like, might as well just try it. I mean, you can save a dollar. Nothing artificial. There is milk in this and cream, so it's not dairy free. But I wanted to try this because it's in the sweet cream flavor. So a few months ago, I recreated the Starbucks sweet cream cold foam with a blender. I'm gonna be using this in a frother. I did the blended version because I know not everyone has a frother. So I know a lot of people do have blenders. So. Um, that's why I did that or you can like whisk it together to make it kind of frothy. I have an espresso machine It came with a frother. So I'm just gonna put this in the frother on the cold setting I'm just gonna do like my favorite pod. I'm not gonna do like a coffee pod or a cold brew I'm just gonna brew it hot. So my machine came with this frother. I think a lot of machines do Come with frothers or you can buy an espresso um, the frother is separate Okay, this is thick and then I assume everyone knows how to do this. You just hold it down to where it's cold on the cold setting. I haven't tried this yet. I wanted to wait to try it with you guys, let you know how it is. So um, we'll see how it goes. This. It looks just like the cold foam, so I'm gonna try it. Wow. It tastes incredible, it tastes just like it. It tastes amazing, it tastes just like the cold foam. I didn't add any vanilla or anything, but you can, it's so good. It's amazing, 10 out of 10, definitely recommend that. It's literally, you just buy the jug and you don't have to buy all those separate ingredients. That's what I did um, a few months ago. I just bought like all those <laughs> ingredients for it and put it in a blender myself. But this is basically like the same thing, just on the cold setting with a frother. So good. I don't know what I'm doing today. I think I want to go. The Zara sale just started at Zara and their online store is such a headache it's impossible to find any clothes I don't know how anyone finds any article of clothing on there that they aren't like slightly hesitant to purchase I would just rather go in the store when it comes to Zara so I think I'm gonna go to Zara today and go to the mall I got this sorry just ignore this I just did some dishes that I have to hand wash I got this soap set for Christmas from my older brother and his wife and they're from William Sonoma. I also got a lot of dish towels from them too, from William Sonoma, which are so cute. But I'm gonna take the lid off these and I put my other soap dispenser away. And it smells so good. So I'm super excited to use these. Okay, and they're so cute. They're the winter forest scent, so that's fine. This will be good for months. <laughs> they smell really, really, really good. So I'm excited about that. Have a little soap and lotion set. It is 51 degrees outside. I'm so cold. Am I ridiculous for this <laughs> outfit? But I have the biggest fuzzy coat on and then I have like a long sleeve sweatshirt underneath but 51 degrees is cold so I'm heading I'm heading to the mall right now um it's like I'm just going to Zara and maybe like 
two other stores, but that's about it. I wonder how crazy it's gonna be because the Zara sale just started today, so it might be like insane there, but. I feel like I'm gonna get questions or people are gonna question it in their head why this is like chipped or why it looks like this these are the Nespresso origin mugs and I actually asked for them for Christmas I I loved them right when I saw them so the reason that they have this little part right here it's meant to look like a coffee bean so I saved this so I could show you it's meant to if you see the O in origin, it looks like a coffee bean. So the cups are made after a coffee bean. So they look like this. They're matte white on the outside and then on the inside they're this pinkish color. I got the size, this is the size that I got. And I think it's the third size. So there's like espresso, there's like a smaller one of these I think and then there's this one and then there's the coffee one. So I think there's four sizes. I wanted something that was like big, but not as big as the coffee ones because the images on Nespresso don't really give you a good idea of what these look like. They look like a picture that's drawn, in my opinion. They don't, like I can't tell what they look like. I would wish, I wish there was like a size comparison. So I had to Google, or I actually typed in YouTube, people unboxing these and that way I could get a good size of what it looks like in their hand and I thought they were just so cute and very unique and I don't know I really like them okay so I just parked and the weirdest thing just happened to me me and like 15 other people I was waiting in the Starbucks line for 25 minutes which is not a problem for me like I didn't mind waiting the Starbucks was closed and it was just weird because I wasn't paying attention to what was going on I just thought it was weird because usually when the lines really long there's like a place to order and then there's like a few cars ahead before the window and i was like there's not even any cars ahead of them and at the window so i thought that was like a little bit strange i was like but maybe they're just popping out orders so i wasn't paying attention we were like slowly scooting up i really wasn't paying attention to what the cars were doing in front of me at all and then i started to get really close there was like two cars ahead of me and i was watching the car and and he was like at the window for like a, i mean at the order place for a little bit and I was like what is he doing like is he just waiting on the other person to tell that tell him what he wants I don't know so I was confused and then I saw him drive up to the window um sit there for a second and then drive away and I was like is there anyone even because he was going like this with his hands he was like what's going on and I was like what then the person in front of me like sat at the like place where you order and no one was <laughs> coming to the thing and then he drove straight through the the line and I so I rolled down my window and I was like they're not even open are they then I drove up to where you go and get your drink and there was no one in the Starbucks and I thought that was so weird because it's a Sunday and it's it's not a holiday so there was a Target right in that parking lot as so I went in and got a Starbucks and I'm trying something new. So I just got an iced coffee, nothing in it, with chestnut praline cold foam. So I haven't tried it yet, so I'm gonna try it. Wow. Wow, it's really good. I wanted to try it before all the holiday drinks went away because obviously it's after Christmas. I'm gonna go into CVS and get some stuff. I just got home, got some toiletry stuff from CVS, like body wash, new loofahs, conditioner, and dry shampoo. But I'm really excited to actually try this cleansing balm. I've heard really good things about it and maybe I'll try it tonight on camera. It was $10 and I love cleansing balms. 
They are just so much better than makeup remover wipes. So I wanted to share that. Are you guys one trip inside with groceries type of people? Because I am and I'm like out of breath. Carried this up a flight of stairs. <laughs> all of this in one hand and then this in the other hand and then um, I balance this on my knee so I could type in my door code to get in <sighs> I just got out of the grocery store just got out of Publix and I'm gonna put this stuff away line and I saw edamame and then I remember that Christian and I whenever we go to this one specific sushi place we always get the spicy garlic edamame so I quickly looked up a recipe and I had everything but that edamame obviously and chili paste so I really want to make spicy garlic edamame I don't know why it just like came to mind um so I got the chili paste Maybe we'll try making spicy garlic edamame. If you have seen my previous vlogs, I just wish that LaCroix would notice me, but they haven't yet, and that's okay. I love them anyway, but if you guys know, if you've seen like some of my videos from like a few months ago, I drink, I didn't want to continue to show them because I literally drink Lemoncello LaCroix every single day. I have a LaCroix every single day. I love them. And I think the key lime tops lemoncello in my opinion not many people like the lemoncello lacroix but i do they have a special place in my heart i literally love them i'm gonna have a key lime now but they're not cold me and another woman were both looking for it in um the water line or the water aisle and we couldn't find it and I didn't know she was looking for it, but we were both standing in front of the little croix and I was looking for it. And then it was hidden. So I found one and then she goes, oh, you found it. And I was like, there's one more. So we both grabbed them, the last ones. I need to edit videos, bad, like really bad. Okay, I've been sitting here for, I kid you not, four hours. I'm gonna order I need to clean up. <laughs> Christian's on his way home and I need to clean up. I think I want to pick up food from somewhere. But at the same time, I don't want to leave my apartment, if that makes sense. Right here, maybe I'll order to you on a flats. Thank you for calling to you on a flats. I'll take it home. I help you. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. I would like to place an order for pickup. Oh, can I have the name for your order? It's going to be Lauren. A taco salad with um, chicken. I should be about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, it'll be 13 08. Okay, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. I just got my food. And I'm going to do one last drive through all the Christmas lights. Because I don't know when the last time will be. And it could be tonight. So I don't know when they're taking them all down. I just can't believe how crazy they all go but they have like a donation box and people stop and look at their house it's so funny so pretty but I'm not gonna go down there I'm gonna turn home I got and I wanted to vlog right here because it's probably one of the last times with the tree what they gave me a full side of chips and queso whoops I just wanted a side but all right I get the taco salad from Tijuana Flats I 
could eat a taco salad every single day for the rest of my life. Save me a full. I'm not gonna eat this. I just wanted like a little side, like this big, but. All right, I'm gonna sit here, turn on some YouTube. Probably gonna end off this video right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're having an amazing day or night, depending on when you're watching this. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.